So here is the location for the coolant temperature sensor on this particular 3.6 liter engine. It is a hassle to get to. And what I did is I pulled, sorry about that, that uh, wire bundle retainer off that nut. And I used pliers to do that. And it was tight at first, so don't you know bother doing it by hand. Actually, just take a pair of pliers and, and kind of twist and tug real gently and it'll come loose and then you can go ahead and pull it off by hand. But just looking at the engine well, that is what you're dealing with. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty big, I mean, comparatively, and actually almost thought about having my wife help me, you know, for threading it back in and stuff. But um, I took this out and I pulled these wires off and out of the way and it gave me a little bit more room. Three quarter inch socket with a swivel and an extension and uh, it came out, but you notice too that the, the connector for the clip is upside down now. On the vehicle, it was right set up and you can get to it, but the way I tightened it in there, now it's upside down. So God forbid I should have to take this out, it's going to be a little bit more work. So that's kind of the way it is, and um, yeah, that's a drag. getting. Getting it out was nerve-wracking because I didn't want to bust it or nothing, you know, but um, I pulled the connector out and I pushed it out of the way over here and then, you know, it came out okay and then uh, putting it back in, man, I tell you what, it was fingertips and uh, the stem for the sensor uh, led into the hole okay and then I just used both hands just really gently, just twisted it little by little and uh, got it all the way snugged in there before I put my wrench on it, that's for sure. This is the original temperature sensor and you'll notice that the thread body here is more narrow and in other videos you've seen them where they actually have some sealant on these threads. This one did not. Instead it has a washer and the washer comes in the box and you have to thread it on so it won't come off unless you unthread it. Now the one that I got that works is this. It's standard parts. Uh, I got it in at O'Reilly and it's this part number and this is different than the one that I got originally. I had to go back and change it because when I got it out I had one of those uh, surprises because they look identical um, and the one that I got uh, from the store before I took it out was the thicker one the thicker thread body with the sealant on it which for the standard was a uh, TX um, 195 so this um, 259 was the one that works and in the installation part where it's actually installed, this is, you can see, you can't just put the clip on. Now there's other videos that tell you how to take this clip off and they're accurate. You got to pull the red part up and then slide it back and then push the black part down and then slide it all the way off. So mine ended up looking like this. So if I have to take this back off again, um, there's going to be a little additional work and it's tight quarters in there man I am here to tell you it is not easy going in there if you have big hands at all so um, just to let you know this is the one that worked for me 3.6 liter 2014 Dodge Challenger and I don't know if it's a different engine than other people have or whatever I just have no idea but this is the part that was in uh, my engine for that temperature sensor and um, so if you have to go back to the store you're going to ask them for this. Uh, you can cross it, um, just take it back. I don't know if you want to try to cross it with other parts. There's so many other manufacturers but this is the one that worked for, uh, for the car I was working on.